Hello, suspicious ducks. And let me get my game up. And let me just tell you, there are some freaky, scary noises going on in here. And I have John with me. He is awesome. Hello, everyone. Or as Greg Turkington of On Cinema says, hey, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> Greg Turkington here. Yeah, don't trust the lockers. That would probably be my mistake if I didn't trust the lockers. Don't trust the bathroom is more like. Grace hasn't picked up her phone in hours. There are probably something other I missed it. Shouldn't you know these trails by now? I don't know these trails. I just got here, lady. Are you? Crystal's a bit pushy. Yeah. She wants to party. She's ready. Thank you for the biddies, loves and hugs, red event games, and banji. You guys are awesome. And it is definitely not. Thank you, Mighty Chop, loves and hugs. And it's definitely dark out here. I'm just saying. Uh, yay! I hear all kinds of jingle jangles. Um, elves like bitty wars. Uh huh. Yay! I heard another jingle jangle. Uh, let me let it get caught up here. And this game is North. Is it Bar Bar? Blah, blah, blah. Northberry Grove. Northberry Grove. Chick Game Tag, Gamer Tag, thank you for the biddies. Uh, Kylex Plays, thank you for the biddies. Plus and hugs, you guys are awesome. And I hope y'all can hear these background noises. I do hope you can hear them. Thank you for the host, Mighty Chops. Loves and hugs. Oh, they're not posting. Um, let me see. Test. Just testing my voice. Yeah. All right, cool. There. I will. Um, Thank you, Kara. I should I send links it. to you on on Discord, Elf, that you want to share? Oh, uh, you can. Um, Put them in, um, you can DM them in the Twitch. There's a little flag at the bottom the down there. You can, the Whisper. Yeah, the Whisper. Them to Kara, she can do it. She's my, she's one of my moms. Okay, all right, I see. I have a slight problem. The computer that I do all that on, it kind of broke on me this last week. So, I'm watching my stream on my laptop, and it doesn't have all my Twitch stuff on it, and I can't do all that on it. So I know how that is. I just had to update my, uh, I just changed my hard drive, so I had to install all my software I used to play these games. I'm, for my part, at least. I'm so hoping to eventually get enough money raised through my Twitch channel to buy the parts I need to fix the one that's got all my Twitch and YouTube stuff on it. You use two? Huh? I, I do. I use separate computers for each thing. So in case I lose something, I've got it on this one, but it's but, hard for me to do my stream and watch my YouTube or my Twitch page too. So, oh, I know, absolutely. And, and the sound, getting the sound going, at least when you're doing, I do live music on mine. And yeah. It's, it's oftentimes very tricky to get all the sound routed correctly. And it is horribly scary here, folks. I'm just telling you. Can you hear the game okay? If you can't, I can turn up the volume just a little bit. I only hear you because I'm on Discord, but I'm yeah. not sure. Uh, let me check on... I'll listen to Twitch as well. Real quick. I'll listen to Twitch as well. Oh, they, can, they can hear the Your sounds. Your volume sounds good. Okay, that's good. I'm glad you can hear it because I'd hate to be the only one. <laughs> Alright, fun fact number one for you. I'm going to play the role of VHS pop-ups. That Rock the Warehouse poster right there. This is a music festival that's thrown at an abandoned uh, warehouse in the woods of Spectre Forest. 
okay. and that's what they're doing. These two, your, your friend is Connor, Dillard, and your friend is Crystal, and you're looking for your friend Grace Bailey, who's supposed to meet you here. So you're showing up. You, you're, the reason he's videotaping is because they're documenting the event, like they're hired as photographers and documentary people. So uh, now Rock the Warehouse is based off of a fest the first music festival I ever performed in real life, uh, Rock the Resort, which was in 2009. And I based the, I designed that poster, and uh, I designed it based on the, the poster of that festival. You want fun facts for you? Number one. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. So we have an abandoned car here, and I don't think we can access any of it. Who would just leave a car running like that? Really? Well, I think that's one reason it's, they run into the signpost. But what happened? Yeah, the car does not run. I heard something. Okay, we got an outdoor potty here. Fun fact number two: Blake is is our modeler. Our primary modeler. Uh, Unsealed, who's in this chat, is uh, our other modeler. Uh, Blake was helped make this game. He was on board with this. Uh, and that's his name on the front of the porta potty. Oh. Awesome. Okay. We I'll point out every Easter egg I can and just tell me if it gets annoying. Oh, you're fine. Talk all you want to. Um... Now this sets up the second game, King's Comfort. Oh. So I found this before I should have found it? No, you could. Uh, it's just it's just a reference. This, all these games are set. Our our games are set within the Scythe, Scythe Saga universe. So this is an Earth. This is our own worlds. So we get to do whatever we want with it. Oh, okay. And uh, Specter Forest is where they are. North Fairy Grove is a small, quaint community within it. And uh, they're right outside Specter City. And King's Comfort is right down the road. That's the sign you can see the motel. And uh, game two is based in the same the same night as this. But you play as a different character. I'm not. Uh, they were sounds over there. Can I get on the car? I don't remember. I'm That's on not top my role. I'm, I'm on the top of the car. <laughs> I'm on top of the car. They can have Crystal leave me alone. You're gonna use her as human bait. Yeah. <laughs> hey, better her than me. That is true. I never read what was on the phone. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's basically just someone setting up a job interview. You, you see them in the second game. Okay. Okay, I see lights over here. I'm following the line. Good instincts. Go read that sign. Okay. Thank see you. what uh see if anyone in the in the chat can can, can recognize the reference. Thank you for the host stock gaming loves and hugs. And my hashtag saying is loves and hugs, so. Thank you, Kara. Rock Familiar the signature? That's, that's Randy Jackson's signature. No, um, that's, um, I made that based off of the, si the, the Camp Crystal Lake sign in Friday, I mean, yeah, Friday the 13th. Yeah. It's a little horror reference, an Easter egg. Yeah, Friday the 13th. Ugh. <coughs> now, um, I guess I'm going on down this way. It just had to be dark, didn't it? Oh, absolutely. Can we do some daytime games? Cultist, oh wait, no, wait, no, Cultist isn't daytime, we changed that to... Signage reminds you of the pubs. We've got a parking lot A, or a camping lot A ahead of us. So, I like light. Just saying. We just made a, we're making a circle, it looks like. Oh, here's a North yeah, Ferry place is Ale place. Covered in floodlights. Yeah, North Ferry Ale. That's, um, okay, so. Fun fact number four, um, like I was saying, this is its own universe, so we try to make brand names that we can throw into the games that we, uh, we just make up stuff. So like North Ferry Ale, they have Ale Pong, 
they're sponsors of Rock the Warehouse Music Festival. I don't know about you guys, but do you hear that noise behind me? Oh, I hear music now. Phew! I thought it was something getting me. Okay, here's a, a phone. I picked up a phone. Yeah, the creepy giant... Oh, is it giant spiders, Mighty Chops? That's scary. We fade to black. Yes, I'm the pink one. Uh, these look like gory pictures, I'm just saying. Thank you for the host, We Fade to Black. Love and hugs. Uh... I hear them again. Whew. Oh, Rated R, is that your new name? I'm doing pretty good. Loves and hugs. Okay, uh. Here's another table. Can I turn the radio off? No. You cannot. That's uh, that's me jamming, playing with the organ solo. It's all my music. Nice. <sighs> um, is there any goodies in there? I expect to open Just, one. Um, sorry. Sorry. I, I expect to open one of them and something jump out on me. Good instincts. <laughs> I think I need a weapon. This is a beautifully a made. Bongo. It's a beautifully made game. Yes. Thank you. And everybody, please remember that this is a recording. I'm videotaping this, or my character in the game is. You can turn that off too, if you want. If you hit escape in the pause menu, you can uh. I kind of like it, so it me makes too, it a little too. more eerier. We should look around for a parking lot. Hmm. There, I can see it now. Your free parking voucher. So we're looking for a parking lot. Ooh. Um. Well. What's this? Yeah, that mu the music is, um, I did a dynamic soundtrack. Essentially, for everything you do, you know, video games, with, psychologically, you're impacted as a gamer when you're rewarded for doing things. So instead of rewarding people as they move through tasks and objectives in, in my horror games, what I do with the soundtrack is make it creepy. So you, you're not getting rewarded, you're getting creeped out more and more, because every time you do something, you're conducting the soundtrack. Oh. Like, the soundtrack is in completely in, in... You have to do stuff to, to, to trigger the music. And it's all in the same key, all the same tempo. So it's always on time, it's always flowing. Uh, stuff like that makes it so every time you're playing the game, you should feel like you're in a horror movie. And uh, it, could, it could play out different every time. There's some fun stuff waiting for you. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I feel like I'm playing in a horror movie, okay? Awesome. Exactly. What we Mrs. Do. Uh, are trying to do. Festival needs. Fun fact number ninety-four. <laughs> uh, Miss, Mrs. Tree's festival needs is based on a real vendor. I go to music festivals, like I said. Uh, Rock the Resort was when I played. Uh, you know, like <clears throat> Gathering of the Vibes, Strange Creek, basically Grateful Dead, Fish, Widespread Panic, all that type of vibe. But um, Mr. B's festival needs is actually a vendor that goes and frequents all those festivals and sells stuff that uh, people need at festivals. Oh. Like, uh, you know, like if it rains out, he'll have ponchos or he'll have, uh, you know, just your general needs at festivals, uh, batteries, stuff like that. Nice. So I put that in the game as a, as a reference to him, and some woman hit me up on Twitter and she's like, or hit up the dev team's Twitter and is like, is that... Mrs. Tree's Festival Needs, is that a reference to Mr. B's? I saw your uh, your game on Jacksepticeye playing it or something like that. And we're like, yes, absolutely. That's 100% a reference to your brother. 
It's a nice uh, little. Okay. Uh, yeah, Sky does a horror night Friday every Friday. Uh, he'll have to pick this game up and finish it for me. So sorry, festival has been canceled. I think we found the parking lot, and it's locked. I'm gonna try to break the lock. Why is this locked? Where the hell is everyone? We need to cut this lock. So we need to find cutters to cut the lock to get in there to a car that we don't even know which one's there. Yep. Pretty much. And yes, Puppet Combo, um, he's, he also is inspired by, um, like, he does those awesome, like, retro games. It's basically PS1 games, but modernized, like, with, uh, but, um, I, I can just tell, like, he, he watches the same movies. Like, you should see my VHS collection of horror movies. I guarantee he's seen, like, pretty much all of them, just like me. Uh, there's a lot of really cool indie dev horror games. Uh, makers, game developers like him and uh, the guy that did um, what's it called? Uh, uh, some zombie game, Tribute to the Dead or something like that. A lot of Ichio horror games are really cool. Ribeye Charlie's, you know, they they all got like that vibe where it's old school and uh, old school movies and old school gaming kind of melded into one. There's and there's still. yeah, there it is. Okay. That was fun. That sign, um, it was like, at the time the team was three people and we all did a part in that. I made the, the lettering in <clears throat> Photoshop and then Blake modeled it and then Caleb finished the modeling and lit it up and then put it in the game. It was nice. Nice. Good. So, I think I made a complete circle around to this. Don't tell me I have to go in under the fence. Oh, uh, you do. That's mm -hmm. the next step. She'll let Crystal go in first, right? Yeah. But I don't think she's gonna. I don't think she's gonna. She doesn't have your back. Uh, sweetheart, you go on in there, and I'll catch up with you. How's that? No? Well, you can stay out here and something else can get you. So. Am I sure? Exactly. Thank you for the biddies, Disney. Uh, it would appear that uh, me and Crystal has been officially separated. I guess that means she's telling me I'm on she's, my own. Yeah, she's pretty chill about the whole thing. Yeah, she's chillier than I am. Thank you for the biddies, Sky. Loves and hugs. Yeah, the sound effects just runs chills down my spine. Mighty chalk. Oh, thanks. So my job is is done then. Uh, thank you for the biddies chick gamer tag. Loves and hugs. Loves and hugs for all the biddies. If anyone has any interest, I do stream the production of these songs live on my Twitch. Uh, you could just follow me there. Thank you, thank you, mighty chops. Thank you, everyone, for the biddies. I think I, I just... do a lot of research into the synths, you know, like those old movies, they had tons of synthesizers they used, and uh, back in the day they were like $20,000 instruments, but now you spend $200 and you got like nine of them in a, in a pack and they're all sampled into software, it's great. Uh, this is right up Sky's Alley. Oh yeah, nice, nice. Yeah. You guys are going to love walls closing in, that's what we're working on now, with a bigger team and a uh, bigger... Bigger aspirations, bigger dreams. This game took us six months. Uh, I think we started it around this time last year and then released it in October. So I'm going to assume that I can't open these trailer things. You cannot. You cannot. Again, back to branding. Uh, El Command Industries, they have a much, much bigger role in this universe than we're revealing yet, but, you know, we just like to give people little snippets of lore. Uh, this, this is a drop of water in the ocean of war. There's so much going on yeah. in this universe. Well, when I first seen this tra tractor and trailer, <coughs> I actually thought it was going to run out there and run over me or chase me. 
Good. That's what it, it's supposed to be unsettling. In fact, there should be a running in down there. There's a, there's a few things I, you know, fall to the cracks that we forgot to implement. But yeah, it's definitely because the lights are on. You know that that alone makes it feel like it's about to smash into you. She's braver than I am. She's just standing there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh... She just wants to go party. They've been driving forever to get to this festival. Well, there was plenty of beer left over there. She's man enough to take it. The Northberry Ale and some strong stuff. Um, so this would be a building. I'm assuming there was an entrance. Do I really want to go in here? Probably not. I uh, yeah. It's not that bad. At least it's uh seems empty. Uh, I guess not the bug. Ooh, do you hear that, guys? Um, Kara, could you hunt uh, John's switch link up and put it in there for me? Well, I could. Well, I can't do it on this one. Give him a shout out. Yeah, it's just that John of the Shred profile. You can definitely. Any link, I think you could just click it and follow me or add your friend. Okay, this is a small it says I'm following myself. It doesn't make any sense. I have a lot more links. I'm just trying to feed them out over the course of everything thank as they you, come Kara. up with the gameplay. Yes, yeah, thank you for sharing everything. And thanks for playing this game, by the way. Well, you're more than welcome. I got a television that makes a lot of noise in this dark and creepy little room. Just saying. Yeah, Unsealed also, he does, like, in-depth game critiques. In fact, he he met us through doing uh, critiques of our games. Uh, King's Comfort, I believe, and Northbury Grove. Uh, he does models for the team now. Uh, I have a zero walker. Huh? That's good instincts. Definitely can hide in there. Thank you, Kylex Plays, for the beauties, loves, and eggs. Um, uh, those noises are freaky, I'm just saying. Absolutely. He'll never feel safe in our games. Even if, like, he isn't around, he, he always is. He's always watching, at the very least. He's very per perceptive. Thank goodness I decided to do the time slot that I picked. At least I might calm down before bedtime about 2 o'clock <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> yeah, at least it's the light out, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm not seeing really anything in here. I'm looking for a thing to cut the walk off of the chain so I can uh, try to escape. But uh, for some reason, I don't think it's going to be so simple, folks. Oh, no. I don't think it is. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mighty Chops. And thank you, uh, Sky. Well, like I was telling John, this is not my usual type of game, but uh, I thought I would give it a try. Everybody likes to hear a elf scream, right? I, I admire your bravery. Like I was telling you before when we were testing the volume, um, we don't get to experience the games like you guys do when we make them. So like, we live vicariously through other people playing them to see if, if it worked. Because I love horror movies, but I don't write the scripts. So they do they do surprise me. These don't surprise me at all. So you got some lore to go with the Light Ridge Heights? Yeah, actually, Light Ridge Heights is... Um, it was... We, this is our ninth attempt at a game, and we finally finished. We had four games in 2016 through 2017 made on Construct 2 that did not pan out. We, we had a bunch done with them, but and to make a long story short, White Ridge Heights was... I wrote a script for a game, because I'm the story writer, the music guy, the sound effects, and I do some of the... Gra I did that poster. We all do a bunch of things. But um, I wrote a giant script for a game where you play as five different people in this... Uh, this high-rise complex, and uh, we never even started it. It was too big an idea. So I'm like, eh, screw it, I'll just 
make a poster and reference our own game because eventually we do want to do every abandoned idea we had we saved all the game documents chronicling how the gameplay mechanics work and everything is ready to go so we're just going to do it bigger than we envisioned before the thing is the games that we abandoned were set far in the future in the timeline so we're building up to everything um essentially we're going to release dozens of short story episodic games that flesh out a universe and then season finales will be huge twists that change everything, and then we move on to the next phase, the next set of games. Uh, I can't really say much more than that. Needless to say, this, we're going to be building a lot of characters and a lot of scenarios that have a very long-term ramification. Awesome. And um, just they said that sounds amazing. Okay. Oh, thank you. Who in chat thinks I should click on the fall? Hear all those feet. Click it. Y'all think I should click it? Give it a try. Yeah. Oops. And I gotta come right back, so I'm gonna let you deal with that intensity about my voice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just to go off and leave me. <laughs> and. Person didn't come in here to get me yet. Whew. I might be able to breathe. Exactly, Sky. I knew that. That's the reason. I knew Yunz would want me to click the clock. Shut the door behind me. Yeah, ding, ding, uh, ding, ding. How are you holding up? I'm holding up. Okay. Nothing didn't barge right. in to get me while the clock was making all that noise. Um, yay. Thank you for the biddies, biz days, loves and hugs. Just a little. They're trolling me. Um, there's something there on the shelf. Can I not pick it up? Uh, crouch. Hit control. Um, and give it a look. Crouch. If shine the flashlight on. I believe it's a little model. Oh, it's of, a little... Uh, it is. It looks, like a, it looks like the building that I might be in. It's either, yeah, I believe it is the factory made as the toy model. Okay. I come in that way. So I'll shut that door. I'm smart. Leave yourself a trail. We tried to design it kind of confusing, but realistically confusing. And there's some more of war on the left. Uh, kind of like PG-13 humor. Uh, with the uh, the sewing machine. Oh, the sewing machine. Yeah, emergency posters. Where was the sewing machine? I missed the sewing machine. Right there to your left, back in that other room. Oh, in here. More brands to your right now. Uh, I see the soda machine. Oh, okay. Uh, A little bit of rock star esque humor. Okay. So Bump Cola, Bump Cola is making fun of. There's actually an energy drink. There's a little rated R, uh, cocaine energy drink from the '90s. I was a kid that came out. We were all like, "Really, you're gonna get away with that?" So that's making fun of that. Swimmer's Choice is making fun of the Mountain Dew myth. There's an urban legend that that uh, Mountain Dew lowers sperm count or something. So that's the joke there. It's tadpoles. Oh. Swimmer's Choice is making fun of the fact, so that, yeah, it's making fun of an urban legend, and then Bump Cola is also Coca-Cola, because Coca-Cola used to feature actual cocaine in their formula. So, uh, more Easter eggs, we like to scatter our games with this nice. stuff. Thank you. Deep, uh, yes. And a future crop likes the couch. 
Looks like it's got blood stains. Oh yeah, absolutely. Great, uh, great, great feng shui, right? <laughs> Is that got blood stains on it? Maybe. In the event they of an spilled emergency. the soda. They spilled the soda on it. Well, that's a whole lot of soda. I'm just saying. <laughs> Probably several sodas. Maybe, yeah, maybe a six pack. Um, did I go in here? I did not. Okay. Oh, Caleb's, Caleb's back. Let me see if I can get the programmer in here. Okay. So here's something. A key card. I found a key card. <laughs> Jason had a party there on you it. Go. He must have. Key card. That's a nice find. I'm in You're the definitely gonna need that. Can I have that? Fortunately, you can. Yeah. Cause I feel like I'm gonna need something to defend myself. Besides a locker. And there's Caleb using the Scythe Dev Team Twitch that no one streams on yet. Okay. Scythe Dev Team. Caleb programs the game. He's uh the scripts all kinds of stuff I don't understand. Well it's always good to have someone that don't that does things that you don't understand for yourself. But you can do everything I do though. <laughs> you can make music, you can you can do Photoshop, you can write stories. <laughs> uh, it's great. I might be able to write a story that I don't think I could uh I'm not very musical. I can sing a little bit. Oh, there you go. It's a bad, I think singing's tough. Well, I just be sitting around playing a game and I'll just start doodle dot on. So. Uh, I, I think singing is a thing that left culture. You know, like people used to sing dirges in bars, and it's not really like that anymore. It's a karaoke, and that's just like that's such a a one you know one man show or one woman show. Should be more dirges, people singing together. Yeah. Like in uh, the other guys, Will Ferrell. So, what's the purpose of these crates in this locker? So you can't hide? Yeah, that was just like a. Oh! You chose the wrong locker if you were trying to hide. Who says you need to hide? Well, for some reason, I feel like I'm gonna have to hide somewhere. It's just a matter of when and where. When... Fair enough, fair enough. You'll bring all your biddies, Wolfheart. I actually thought about that game that Kara plays. Okay, my next option is... Uh, if you look to your right... This has oh, sorry. the man on the, win on the wall? Yeah, that's, uh... His name is Dr. Grimm, and, uh... He... Scythe Dub Team was originally a record label, but that's still going on, and uh, every album released was canonical stories within the same universe that the games are. So, uh, my three latest soul albums is John of the Shred, who are based on this guy's story. So there's kind of spoilers for what's gonna happen in the games if you look at the, the hints in the stories of the albums. But, uh, the games are, are dead set canon. The albums are, uh, what all this started with. That's why we have so much built up war. Like, we have probably 50 ideas for games we could easily jump to and just start. Okay. Anything to but, keep uh, me from going upstairs, folks. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to throw you a, a white raft there. Yeah, I saw that. Give you a little, I, I, more, you notice, little more prep time. You know how, how much I grabbed onto that. I didn't waste no time grabbing onto that. And thank you, Miss <laughs> Kara. And, I, yeah, I was talking about the Twitch scenes. <sighs> Uh oh! I heard something. I think I may have took a wrong turn. I may have went the wrong way. What am I looking for? Every way is the wrong way now. Well, you have the key card. I do. So I mean, where do you need to use that? And then you gotta find the uh, thing that cut open. I gotta find the cutters. Yes. Uh. 
I hope he doesn't come in this room. I hear him walking. Do you hear him, folks? I've seen a door over here somewhere. I like the op optimist in shelled mines. Maybe it's Crystal. <laughs> uh, yeah, Crystal. Ooh, I seen him walk by. Uh, I seen a, a, a door in here somewhere. How do the blazes? Thank goodness he did not see me. How long does it take him to come back? Oh, he's random. He's completely random and just does his own thing. We don't know. We didn't program it that- Oh, Caleb didn't program it that deep. Oh, he just walked by the door there again. <sighs> the light will scare him off? Do you really think so? <laughs> I don't think the light's gonna help me now. It might draw him to me. I heard another jingle jangle. I'm sorry if I missed it. Uh, unsealed wings, thank you for the follow, loves and hugs. I'm afraid to turn my light back on. We may be stuck. Do you have any more folklore you can throw out there? You gotta go find it. <laughs> I gotta find it. Uh, yeah. Uh, so. This doesn't look like a safe place to be either. Oh, you're definitely not safe anywhere. There's anymore. another walk. Click it. It should tell you a little bit of info. This is Connor's uh, inner monologue. Inner dialogue, I should say. I need a, a, a cutters to get in there. Right now, I think I would prefer electrical shock to what's waiting around the corner for me. You'll see. Ah! Thank you for the beauty, Scott. I was so not expecting that. <gasps> um, just give me a minute here. Uh, thank you for the biddies. Chick gave me gamer tag. <laughs> you smelled your beer. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't know you programmed that into the game. <laughs> It's like the bees, whenever there's a wasp in my room, it always knows I'm coming after and they always fly right at me. I oh my it. god. They smell my adrenaline. That totally... Oh. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. I'll give you a hint. Um, once you, uh, what Dylan just said, what Wings just said, um, if you, once you go upstairs, then he, he, he walks you in from downstairs. Okay. So you can explore the downstairs and be fine. Love the hugs for the biddies, guys. I'm almost able to breathe again. I was so not expecting that. <sighs> it's a good thing I got a strong heart. Hello, Dark Knight Studio. Yeah, it's a scared elf on a shelf. Okay. Oh, at least the crystal left. She was smart. She abandoned me. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Red Velvet. Already meant gaming. <laughs> I do apologize. Rip the ears. Rip the ears. Okay. <sighs> I 
It was epic, wasn't it? I hope someone clipped that. Good stuff, Dark Knight Studios. Lurk away. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> I look immediately to your right when you walk in. Okay. I'm not setting you up for destruction. Just go in that room. I don't think you want to make it. That first room. A little bit. Yeah, right there. Oh. For accommodations, with King's Comfort being the closest option, just three miles away from the festival site. Under no circumstances should anyone camp in the woods. A killer is at large in the area. El Canaan's long-abandoned factory has been an eyesore for too many cycles, <laughs> according to Northbury Grove locals. As the town grows into a tourist hotspot, more and more are petitioning to tear down the building, burying its controversial history with it. I'm more sorry, on that start, later. Uh, first, start gaming. A breaking story. Another body has been found on Route 20, marking the third in just the last yeah, week. The Northbury Grove Police Department have issued a statement saying the nature of the yeah, crime scene indicates this is not the work of the Waste Riders gang, but that of a serial killer. A mandatory curfew is in place, and the annual Rock the Warehouse Music Festival has been postponed indefinitely. Festival goers are advised to find indoor accommodations, with King's Comfort being the closest option, just three miles away from the festival site. Under no circumstances should anyone camp in the woods. A killer is at large in the area. Hello, Matt. El Canaan's long-abandoned factory has been an eyesore for too many cycles, according to Northbury Grove locals. As the town grows into a tourist hotspot, more and more okay. are petitioning to tear down the building. Does anybody have any liquor? I think I could use a drink right now. Later. But first, a breaking story. You should have grabbed the North Area. Yeah. has been found on Route 20, marking the third in and I don't drink. the last week. The Northbury Grove Police Department have issued a statement Thank saying you, the nature of the crime scenes indicates <sighs> this is not the word. Okay. Um... Disney said that you needed to record that screen. It would go great in the game. Can you just pull it from the audio? You can. Comfort being the closest nice. option. You can pull it from the actual game, probably. Um, from the screen. Like, uh, we like to do Easter eggs like that. And we have uh, we have the. Other. God, I was so not expecting that. And here I'm, I'm, I'm silly enough. I'm going up here again. <sighs> Thank you, Red Event Games. Uh, yeah, that's just the thing, though. Um, Mass Mauler, thank you for the follow. Um, Unsealed wings, that's just a thing. I don't drink, though, and I was asking for a drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need to get my booty in gear. How do I shut the door? I need to shut the door. <laughs> Here I am coming. Probably a grave mistake, y'all. Hit escape. Escape. And yeah, try turning off the VHS. See if it helps you see a little better. Oh Jesus. Um, how do I turn it off? The oh, right there. Plate. Yep. Does that help? Oh yeah, I can see a whole lot better. But that's not going to help none. He can see me better too now. Okay, he's going down the stairs. Uh, uh, I don't... Ah! Oh, what am I? I'm in a control room. Oh yeah, shift is run by the way. The best way to get away from him is to run in circles in the upstairs. Oh. 
Oh, thank you, Just Wall Games. I appreciate it. Hello, Just Wall. <sighs> now I can't see where he's at, though. was an elf. Okay. I couldn't run. I was stunned. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the bitty sky. Oh, I turned my light off. I didn't need to turn my light off. Okay. Alright, so... Check everywhere downstairs. Check. I'll give you some hints. There's three things you need to get out. Okay. And uh, they all spawn in different areas every time you play. Yeah, the last... This is done for a psychological aspect. Like, you never feel safe, you never feel confident because things are always... Basically, when you're developing a horror game, you want people to feel like they're in the game. If everything spawned in the same place every time, that would be gone. Oh. So, with that element, it's always like, ah, you're always on edge. We want you. So you need a fuse, some bolt cutters, and that key card you found. I know you found two of the three. Okay. Let's keep it with two death average per screen, and she's gonna beat this. Elf is gone. Um. Yeah, a little good bomb in the lockers. Boxes. Shut the door. Sh makes me feel better. <laughs> oh, here's a locker. Nothing in it. There's those hideous noises again. <gasps> and then, oh yeah, shift. Shift is run. Yeah. Okay. Well, when I see him, I just kind of I get paralyzed. So. It scares me. Good, that means I do my pool we did our job too. For sure. Well, I do know one thing. I still want to see Sky play this. <gasps> if anyone wants, um... Wants, just hit me up and I'll, I'm usually around working on the next... If, I can, if, if you correspond with me, I'll usually be be able to set time aside that where I can join it. Okay, I don't see anything in here. So I done looked in there, I think. No, you didn't check. Okay. Could be. <sighs> okay, good. Well And you, yeah, your light can be on, but if you're in a locker and you shine the light on him, he will see. Okay. Um the items you need to collect have a little glowing orb above them. Oh. Kind of signal you in. But, uh... Well, for some reason, I think most of them are going to be upstairs. Especially the cutters. I'm not playing with the clock again. Yeah, they're saying you're not going to sleep for a week. Yeah, that's what I see. Okay, <laughs> um... Uh, I'm glad I don't have to use that sink. The video tape. It's not all sanitary. It's definitely not a uh, kitchen safe sink right there. Well... Needless to say, I didn't figure I would get an extremely long way to the game. Locals. As the town grows into a oh. tourist hotspot, more and more are petitioning to... So. Well, to your oh, right on that shelf. I got another key card. Okay, there's the key card. Now check, um... Go look at the vending machine. The vending machine. 
Yeah. Oh, we can we can where you would grab the soda. No, the other way. Uh, yeah, through that door and into the. Room. Just as long as he can't come down here. Once you go upstairs, that's. Pops. See? Yep. There you go. Fuse. Yes, just while our first two games are free, uh, the sequel to this is on the same night at the motel. Uh, that one's also free. Uh, Cultists and Compounds is usually three dollars, but it's on sale for a dollar right now. Okay, I've got ten more minutes, and I gotta go back up here again. All right, look on the top of that pile. On this pile. If you're lucky. As soon as I go on that top of top of the steps. He'll be there. Yeah. Yeah. All you need is the all you need is the bolt cutters, and you got this. And then you gotta remember that that I'm gonna give you a pep, pep talk right now. Remember that gate with the lock on it. Yeah. Upstairs. The electricity. You need to cut that with the bolt cutters, and that's where you put the fuse so that you can use the key card to get out. And then and then you gotta find the car. Oh. Good. Because remember, you're getting the you're trying to get in that other part. Yeah, she's doing good. It takes people like an hour or two to beat this game. So, thank you, dude. You got two out of three. You're you got the meatloaf right now. Two out of three ain't bad. So there's nothing up here. And there he comes. All right. And I went. All right, the wrong, run. I went the wrong way. Go, 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 go. Left, left, left. No, no, no. Back, 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 back. Back. Oh. Switch back. Oh, here. Let me. How do I use my things? You can cut that. How do I cut it? Click it. I don't have the bolt it. cutters. Oh, that's the one you don't have. That's right. But you need the bolt cutters to get in there to use the fuse to use the key card. It's all right in this little thing. Um, so I have. To... Yeah. Maybe he'll walk by me. Probably not. No, he will not. No, he will not. <laughs> I, I know where it could be. It could be in the bathtub. It could be in that room. Well, if I'm going to have to run from him, hell, just let's go run for him. I like that attitude. Sorry, that was harsh. No, I like it. I like it. That's that's what you want. You want to... Um, the bolt cutters is not in the go bathroom. Go for it. Dad, all right, go. Ready? Straight to the right. I feel like I'm. Huh? I feel like I'm on MTV Fear, that show where they used to wear the cameras and walk around. Oh, there it is. There it is. Right there. There they are. Now, how do I get back yeah. up there? I went. Yeah. Oh. Go, go, go. I can't. He's got oh, me no. down. Uh, you were right there. So I have to find everything again, or do I still have yep. everything? Yep, you gotta find everything again. Crap. Now run, 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 and look everywhere. If you get everything right, okay. you'll get it. But I think we're leaving this on a cliffhanger. Thank you Unless for you the do babies. Loves and hugs. So I gotta find everything down here again. And they're not always in the same spot. So you have to check everywhere you checked last time. Okay, and I've only got six minutes. You could definitely do it in six minutes if you if, if you get a good spawn. You were wicked close, and then you were you about to escape and go outside. But I didn't have one of these minutes. That's okay. Thank you for the biddies. Also, we do giveaways on our Discord, so um, every, every two weeks we're giving away all the albums. From the uh, from the Scythe Saga Records discography, it's only on album two, so for the next twenty-five. I'm not seeing it in here. Albums. Not in there. Um. Not in there. Look to the left in the pile. There, it's not on the shelf. It could be in front of the clock. No. Uh, nothing on nope. the shelf. Is that a door? No, that's not a door. 
Yeah, and if anyone wants to try this, feel free to message me if you want me to ramble over everything to do the, do the fun fact. I'll just shut up over there, TV. Oh no. Also, I'm in the... It's gonna be hard to find the other pieces. There's a card. Ah, oh, there you go. Forget if anything spawns in me. I haven't played this better. Okay. Empty boxes. I'm out in the hall. Anything in here? Can I get something here? Oh, there's another fuse. The fuse went in. Yeah, you got the fuse again. Now you just need the bolt cutters, and you, and you can. It's all in one shot. You cut the gate, start the power, and then use the key card. Not there. And then look in the room with the bodies. To the left here. Tell me if there, you see it. There. Nope. Nope. Check the bathtub. Um. No. Oh uh, no. He's going to get me. Don't go there. Don't go there. There's nothing there. One more go down. I can no, run! No. He got me. Right, right, right through. <gasps> if you run around that square, you can try to get away. Okay. They were in the body room? Huh? I didn't see him in the body room. I never either. <laughs> so, my time's almost up. If you have any questions for this awesome game dev. Thank you, Diz, for the biddies. Thank everyone, audience, for the biddies. It's, it's been awesome. I've had enough excitement. I don't have enough time to try it again. Oh, so if you have any questions... Good job, though. Thank for you. someone that doesn't play horror, you did really well. I scream really good, too. That That's good. That means, like I said, that means we did our job right. I appreciate you all playing it. Love and hugs for all the biddies, guys. But do you have any questions? I'm glad you, um, Sky's going to play it next Friday night. Woohoo! Yeah, my blood pressure, I'm going to have to put my blood pressure pills. <laughs> or a muscle relaxer one. So, but I do thank you for joining us. It is an awesome game. And like I said, I'm not used to playing this kind of game. But it was totally, it's awesome. You did really good for someone that doesn't play horror up. Well, I thank sure. you. So, does Seven Days to Tie help? Hmm. I, ha I have been known to play Seven Days to Die, so. I haven't played that one. Can someone check to see if uh, the Mighty Chops is ready? <gasps> I think the Mighty Chops is my next run, so... Thank you, Kara. Okay, this says uh, he's ready. What game is next? What do you guys play next? Um, I don't know what, um... Mighty Chops is playing. Um... I'll watch a little bit of it, but then I gotta get back to work. Okay. I'm balls closing in. Thanks for having me again. Thank you for joining me. This was awesome. I really appreciate it. Um... We'll have to do it again sometime. Absolutely. Just hit me up on Discord anytime. Okay. And I hope everyone enjoyed it, and I'm going to send everybody over to Mighty Chops. Go over and hit, give him some elf screams. Loves and hugs, everybody. I put it in wrong. How rude. I'm so terrified I didn't even type it in right. Okay. I didn't put that part in. Bye, Cravenhead. I'll get it fixed here in a minute. And... Did that work? Yeah, that worked that time. I can breathe now.
Laters. <laughs> Loves and hugs, guys. Okay. <sighs> but I do thank you very much for joining me. Absolutely, I had a lot of fun. I did too. And you did really good, I'm serious. 